Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Take OP Destiny. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. That's gotta be Take. Oh. One day, four days before my birthday. Look at the way the world is now. Oh god dang sir, do you ever clean? <laughs> well, you know, cause I'm just being nice, damn. Seriously? Yeah, because you really need to at least live like a human being, sir. Oh God. Finally, we get to see the opening, even though I saw this last week. Oh, look at him. He even looks like fucking Gladio. Like, oh my god. Mm.
right? <laughs> well, you know that, you know, things can come into the house even though you, you don't go outside. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> yeah. I just care for you. Damn. You need to learn to be more friendly. Oh, that looks so good. That's what you get. Oh, damn it. One old bite. <laughs> Well, we know that's a damn lie. You're going to go with them as well. God, I can't imagine living in a world without no music. Jesus. Like, how the fuck do you survive without that? I mean, they've had to. But seriously. <laughs> I don't even think that's a good idea for them to come. Yeah, but you know the D2s are going to come once they hear something. I have a talk though. It could. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, maybe she's just trying to get her feelings across on that song. <laughs> You're going to enter anyway. Come on now. Is you. <laughs> Honestly, you two just need to learn to get along. <laughs> This is so not going to end well. <laughs> so yeah, if the threat of D2s is not completely gone, why the fuck would you want to do this? They're going to see the piano. check on them.
That was good. Oh my little babies, it's so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. See, what the fuck didn't I say? I mean, come on now. We should have just ended this. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh.
Oh, what well, shit? Mm, well, that makes sense on why he always sacrifices his arm in the first episode. Okay, I love the fact that this was the second episode. I mean, I, I do like it when shows either have the episode where we get a lot more backstory in it, the second or the first episode. It kind of gives me feels towards um, Kuma Kuma Bear when the first episode was like, <laughs> to me, that first episode felt like episode seven and then episode two felt more like episode one. So with this, this felt more like episode one and episode one felt like episode two, which is good in my opinion. I love when shows do that. But oh, to see that just, oh God, like you already knew, we all knew that something bad was coming. Like, I mean, come on, you can't just sit here and play a damn piano or any type of instrument and think that no fucking D2 was going to come out and like attack the crap out of someone. But oh my God, like. Oh, but seeing them play the piano together and perform together in a big group of an audience was really nice. God, that's a really nice picture of Anna. Um, but we all knew them D2s was coming up with everything, because come on now. But like, oh, <sighs> babies, they're just so beautiful and pretty. And I can't, like, oh, uh, like, I don't, mm, God. How do I feel about this ship? Like, I, I ship it, but then at the same time, because she is younger than him, it's like, mm, how can I? It's just like, oh, like, but they just so damn cute. Like, oh my God. I wasn't expecting to see um, the general and the, and the dude who was with him and such. I, I was guessing we were just going to see him at the beginning of the episode, and then for the entire rest of it, we were not going to see him. So it was a bit of surprise. But to now see what has happened April, even though like four freaking years later from this episode and that D2s are still a big ass threat. I mean, even saying, oh yeah, we're going to have Symphony Day, even though D2s are still a threat. And my thing was over here like, hold up, why still have this thing even though D2s are still a major ass threat? I get it if they really just want to have a day where it's like, it's ours. We can have music for like one day, but that one day where you are risking to have music, you're also risking your lives. And it's like, do you really want to risk that and be at fault for, you know, thousands, if not millions people dying because of the fact is you wanted to listen to music. And I get the fact is, yes, it's been a, it's been a very long ass time since anyone has heard music. And so to see something like a grand piano, a keyboard, a trumpet, some drums, a guitar, a bass, um, a radio, something that plays music, you know, once in a blue moon, you just don't know what the hell is going to happen. I mean, because like, whoa, shit, if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> I mean, when they're at home, it's okay because, you know, the D2s can't hear outside and such. But once they're outside, like, sure, <laughs> no. <laughs> but the cute, wholesome moments of Ana Kose, Cosette and Take were really sweet. I mean, you know, Take is just as emo as he's going to be. I mean, come on now. Like, you can just see it in his face. It's been like that since episode one. But yeah, this is a really good, like, episode for the second episode. Very nice intro and continuing, like, some of the things that I needed from last week to get answered into this week. But yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Like, they are just, really, honestly, they're just going in with this show and I fucking love it. And I cannot wait to see what the rest is going to be in store for this series. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode two of Sakai OP Destiny. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode three. Bye, guys.